So before this video gets started, if you are an Uber driver, a Lyft driver, or a gig worker, and you want paid time off, if you want paid time off, sick leave, you want protection if you get into accidents, if you want income protection, if you want um, protection if you ever get deactivated, hospitalized, if you ever if you ever do get deactivated and you want your account back as well, there's a brand new company that just launched and they got $1.6 million in funding. They're doing same day cash transfers to drivers, to gig workers for um, you know paid time off, all that stuff. If you want that, the company's called Cover. And if you use my link down below, you get 30 days for free. It does start at seven bucks a month. But again, if you use my link, you get 30 days for free. No commitments, no annual contracts. You can cancel and pause at any time. The company's called Cover. At least check it out. At least click my link down below and accept that gift of 30 days for free. And now let's get on to the video. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. So today's video is just, honestly, it's a really sad story. It's a really bad story, but at the same time, these are stories that really make sense to feature on this channel because yes, of course, we love to talk about different ways to make money, you know, ways to be a better rideshare driver, but sometimes we need to talk about this safety and how to be a defensive driver. And even if you're a passenger watching this video, like how to be a safe, just be safe in general because these are just really messed up stories and yeah i can tell you oh yeah be safe blah 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 you know travel with friends blah 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 but sometimes you just need to hit them <laughs> like share the story share the share the gruesome horrible grinning details if you're watching this before you go to sleep you know you might have nightmares fair warning but this is just very heartbreaking news obviously as a driver i just i just wanted to show you this like i can touch this back seat you know this is no news to anybody but when you're driving ride share you got people in really close proximity to you being a ride share driver or even a ride share passenger is could is potentially very dangerous and i say potentially because if you don't follow basic safeties like standards you're gonna something bad is most likely going to happen to you. Um, I always keep my doors locked when I pick up passengers. I know most drivers don't. Most drivers keep their doors unlocked and just let whoever get into their car. I always keep my doors locked. Um, why? Because I don't want some hobo. Well, I don't want to call him a hobo, but like, I don't, not hobo, but like, I don't want Joe Schmo jumping in my car who I don't know who he is. I have nothing against homeless people. I just, whatever. Um, but um, I, I've given rides to homeless people before. Actually, in my town, in my hometown, our, our town has partnered with, I guess, Lyft and has given free transportation to um, to people who can't afford transportation, like to get to job interviews and stuff, which I actually think is really awesome. But with what comes with, with those programs and also with other things are dangerous activities and there are also people preying on people who aren't very smart, people who don't follow um, safety protocols. Um, so that's what we're gonna get into. We're gonna, I'm gonna share that story with you guys so we all are on the same page. Um, check out the link down below for Cover. Cover is a brand new company. If you want paid time off, if you're an Uber driver and you ever get into an accident or if you ever get deactivated or if you ever get hospitalized um if you ever have an emergency and you can't work cover will replace your income cover will give you 80 percent of your income to you you don't need to pay it back <laughs> it's not a loan they give you the money to cover you so you don't go into debt that's literally their main mission which i think is awesome and if you use my link down below you get 30 days for free we have a little partnership with them they basically said hey dylan you know share a link with them and your um we'll give you 30 days for free so i was like hey that's a great trade-off sure um 30 days for free use my link and get signed up i honestly recommend choosing that 31 days of coverage just so you have the full coverage it does cost you know i think it costs like around 100 bucks a month but Let's say you're working, you know, full time. This that, was, that makes sense for like full time drivers, because if you're making five grand a week um, or a month, sorry, and you have 31 days of coverage, they're giving you four grand in cash transfer same day. That's awesome, and 
little secret, you don't need to put any miles on your car. And no, no gas, and no time spent. It's actually making more money than you are if you were working. I'm not saying, you know, go cheat the system, go take advantage of the system, but when you do the math, it works out in your favor like crazy. Here we go, this is on KTLA 5. If you don't know what KTLA 5 is, essentially it's a Los Angeles news station. Man who posed as Uber driver sentenced to life. He's going to jail, pr to prison for life, guys. Oh, I can't imagine spending my life in prison, my entire life in prison. What a waste of a life. Oh, so sad. It's honestly, honestly, when you think about that, it's just really sad. That I honestly, like, I've spent, I don't know if any of you guys have ever taken philosophy classes or read, like, philosophy like Aristotle or Plato or any, I'm talking like ancient philosophers. But if you've thought about it, like, I'm not defending the guy at all, like, by any means. He obviously did wrong, but, like, at the same time, what what type of influences do people ha need to have in order to do something crazy that puts them life in prison? Like, people who shoot up, um, whatever, like, schools. Like, what type of influence, like, how, it's almost like, it seems like it's almost out of their own control, like... I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's more of a philosophical question. Like, how does some how do somebody grow up just fine, and then somebody grows up to to do something like this, man? <sighs> I'm sorry. This stuff just really gets me going. It's it's just it's just really intense stuff emotionally for me. But um, because because I can relate. I got you guys. Remember you guys remember that story where I told you of the time where I had two guys in my back seat, they're offering me money to hang out with them, and the guy was like holding onto my hand, he wouldn't let go, and they were like, stay with me for the night, stay with me for the night, and I couldn't leave, cause <sighs> I don't wanna get into the full story. Maybe maybe I should make a whole video on that. Um, dangerous stuff. That's honestly one of the reasons I stopped driving full time for Red Chicks, cause I was like, after that happened, I was like, I need to get a job, more like safe job, like a more stable job. Let's go. A Los Angeles man was sentenced to 29 years to life. 29 years of your life, bro. I haven't, been, I haven't even been alive for 29 years. I can't imagine my entire life so far would be in... That seems like... Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <sighs> After being convicted of picking up women by posing as a driver for ride-hailing ride apps and sexually assaulting them. Carlos Omar Pichinte... 42 years old, so he's going to be in, in prison at least till he's 71 or to life. Oh, gosh. Those are some of the best years of your life after you're 42. I mean, you're like settled down, you know, had, you're already mature, like you should be traveling the world, like, or have kids, like, you know what I mean? Like, watch your kids grow up, like, instead he's spending the, his life in jail. He had pleaded no contest September 17th. Uh, so that's really recently. Right now it's September 20th. So on September 17th in a series of four attacks in West LA, Beverly Hills, and West Hollywood, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office said in a news release. The crime series included incidents in October 2016 and March, April, and May 2017. So I, I'm assuming this is just a recent uh, sentence. I don't know why, but these things always have like I we've noticed two two years usually for them to actually get sentenced I don't know why it takes so long do you guys any of you guys in the legal field know why it takes so long for somebody to get sentenced is it because the lawyers are trying to fight for them I don't really know but it seems like it would happen relatively quickly and what does that driver do what does that person do for two years are they in jails already or I don't know Pichinte Carr was outfitted with ride-hailing app decals. He told victims he was an Uber driver but wasn't actually employed by either Uber or Lyft. The defendant would allegedly drive victims to another location, oh my gosh, where he sexually assaulted them. That's just, he was convicted on one account of forcible rape and two accounts, two counts of assault with intent to commit a sexual assault. It's so sad.
it's honestly just really sad. Um, the second, the, this is on patch.com. They also touched on this, which, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's just really sad. I mean, the attacks occurred between October, yeah, I mean, already, but the case is, is one of multiple nationwide involving imposter right to So this is actually a common thing, guys. A lot of people are doing this, which, which is really sad. It's, it's honestly just really heartbreaking that multiple people do this. But because people know, people know that, like, drunk passengers will just get into any car. And it's like, it's sad, but it's, you're a victim when you're getting into random people's cars late at night. Uber launched a new feature in its app that allows passengers to text 911, allowing authorities to track their whereabouts. In the case of the imposter driver, the 911 text would not give authorities the correct vehicle, but will allow police to track their location. Obviously, it wasn't a real Uber driver, but like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess, I mean, could I just open up my Uber app and then just text 911? Is that how it works? Even if I'm not even in a ride? Because she wasn't even on a ride. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where, I don't know where the 911 is. I don't see how that could be helpful at all. Look at my passenger rating, 4.84. I've got, I'm probably taking some very intoxicated rides. I feel bad for the drivers who got me. Anyways, guys, check out the link down below for Cover if you want paid time off, sick leave if you're a driver. Honestly recommend doing it. If you've heard about Cover before and you've thought about it, take that leap. Oh, I mean, honestly, you get first 30 days for free. It's a free trial, so you can sign up with my link. Get the 30-day free trial and then, you know, just decide whether or not you want it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give the video a thumbs up so more people can see this video. YouTube pushes out these videos when you click that thumbs up button. And I honestly think that more people need to see this. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye, guys.